Greetings family, this is Bomani Tamba and we're back live on Revolutionary Cam with my special guest Kwesi Boyd. Yes family, this is our brother Go Hard Gambia. How you doing today brother? I'm fine today man. Oh man. Yes family, the Gambia saga continues and this is part four as my brother talks about his story and uh, his experience in the Gambia from 2020, 2021 and uh, even the years before 2019. that. It's really 2019. 2019. To well, 20 2019. That's when I started with uh, uh, Juliet, but I was there in um, 2015. Our perfect family. 2015. But, uh, yeah. But certain unfortunates started unraveling between what 2020 and 2021. I'm trying to find a def definite. 2019. Years. 2019. That's, so when, still 2019. that's when all the drama started. Our Dago okay, family. Okay, that's COVID. Yeah. So my brother's here just to talk about his life story and. The, you know, the Gambia saga continues. <laughs> so we're going to pick up after where you left off at, at part three. <laughs> and we're talking about R. Kathy, Black Sit, and the unapologetic Negro P and how it all sequence and connect. How all of that came together. And this brother connect. is explaining his side of the story because it's a lot of misconceptions out there and you just want to share his side so people can evaluate properly. Right, Serious, right. You know, I mean, you know, and but people that are close to the situation, you know, uh, by now who are following it closely, you know, seeing how, you know, everything just, you know, the truth actually came out at the end of the day. And, you know, uh, there was a lot, there was uh, accusations against uh, our Kathy and uh, my business and Let's Relocate Africa of, you know, uh, mismanagement, you know, fraud and scam. And all of that went to uh, the court, the prosecutor right eventually over time it took like a year later before they decided that they wanted to go to uh, the Gambian band jewel to the serious crimes uh, unit so that they can come and arrest me at my compound okay so this was a year later now immediately after the drama started the accusers got into a conflict. It was a lot of garbage going on behind the scenes, but all of that was being suppressed because, you know, uh, Black Sit and Juliet pretty had pretty much had a campaign of slander going on. So they were against all, you. Yeah, uh huh. And it's all public. So they were at most two. That at the time, you know, one of the accusers was staying at my house. When she left, she left her Facebook Messenger open, so I was able to see everything. Everything, all the people that were supporting them, you know, what they were trying to do. They were trying to basically, you know, just ruin and destroy the business. We had investors that jumped into the negative, you know, people that I was speaking to for, for months and that uh, knew me for years and years and years. They immediately uh, jumped into the negative. And it was just, uh, like I said, it was a horrible, horrible uh, thing. And we have to be careful who we support. Yes, uh, unfortunately. We have to be careful who we support. <laughs> and uh, us as a community, we have a, uh, a reputation of, uh, you know, destroying our own, you know, and destroying ourselves. You know, the, what's taking place in uh, Chicago is, uh, is saddening. You know what I mean? But, you know, we got to stop. We're so numb to humanity and we're so numb to life and we're so n numb to what being a, a, a human being is that the streets run with our blood you understand what i'm saying and you know uh that that's the mentality we have and all we're doing is we're chasing you know material things in this world chasing false dreams selling our children into this system that don't that never work for us you know and all it is is a meat grinder system you, you understand what i'm saying so um in, in any case you know, when she left her messenger open, it was the burning of the Black Wall Street, the Gambia, the Black Wall Street, West Africa, the Black Absol Wall Street, Ghana, the Make Black sure Wall Street, Senegal, nice and the loud Black Wall Street, so people can Africa, hear you clear. the Black Wall Street of the movement. You understand? It's bigger than the Black Wall Street. This is a global movement, and that's what people don't know. And that's how that's why we're moving and up. We're doing international things. We, you know, we come from small towns and places, and we've been oppressed under the new Jim Crow, the old Jim Crow. You know, slavery. We've had a, a, a rough uh, trek here in America, and you know, we want to get out of here. So, however, in that movement, you know, 
you can't we have to take the mindset out of the people because we can't come and duplicate a, this old system over there you know as far as the system of control and you know how you have a, a, a woman in a, in a situation that's obvious you know uh, uh, Adrian is uh, going through uh, abuse he's going through a, a men get abused too and most people see it and that's what it is and that's what we don't like to talk about you know and uh, you know being in the situation and just doing things and just turning the blind eye to things and you know he you know he is in it too with his wife but that's his wife and he's gonna be but however all of that your personal life shouldn't be in the public and not at the head of the uh, at the head of a movement you know right. and that's why I would say you know uh, these these YouTube personalities, that's all, all they are. And they should only be viewed as YouTube personalities and people who have, you know, it's noble what they're saying, but is, is, is that being backed up by the true work? Because if not, if we just come over there as this, you know, uh, mindless mass of spenders and capitalists, it's going to turn into the same scenario that we experience here. You know, division and, you know, but however, it's more dangerous in those countries. You know, so it's been, you know, you know, so it's been fighting there. Like people have come out and, and actually made threats towards uh, Juliet. You know, I heard that someone in her, you know, went in her office and uh, assaulted her over some land deal. Wow. And, you know, it's a lot of stuff that have came, came out, you know, a lot of, you know, I just sat back and just let the, the truth come out. You know, so after the drop, you know, Adrian gave them the, and Juliet, gave them the green light to defame the movement. He sent them a message, you know, after they came out with the first video with Go Black to Africa. And brothers, you know, brothers that's, uh, you know, that have these YouTube uh, channels and, you know, and they're going out and they'll say, okay, let me put some, some drama on this YouTube channel, right? To get subscribers. And they're putting people who are mentally and emotionally unstable in front of the world to see us. You understand what I'm saying? And it's clear and obvious and it's, it, it's apparent because everything that they say, it didn't pan out. None of that. All of it was lies. Yeah, the true it real world reveal lies. itself. You know, and it, you know, there, there, there won't be any prosecution. The, the prosecutors, we showed them everything transparent. As we're going to go into, you know, we're going to talk about having uh, multiple wives. So, I have more than one wife. Uh, I have one that works with me, right? But in any case, when those women that was keeping the records, I have one that was keeping, helping with all the records and stuff, but I had a large team at the time. So, when we went to the court, not the court, when we went to Banjul, to the uh, serious crimes in Banjul, I used to go there with my whole family. My, it'll be like three or four of us, you know, it, and I never had to talk. My family just talked. One of the accusers, you know, in there going crazy, acting like ghetto. These people looking at her. You understand what I'm saying? My family talking like, hey, these people are crazy. You understand? They disrespecting, you know, the authority there. And on multiple occasions, the authorities said, hey, keep all of this off of uh, Facebook or YouTube while we investigate it. You know what I mean? I gave them everything. You know, my family talked to them. We produced records showing, you know, uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars in transactions. Okay. Over a couple years, it was over, you know, $150,000 in transactions. Not a lot. You know, little revenue coming in, but we took in uh, investment money for our vacation properties. We showed how the money was spent, you know, salaries, you know, uh, transportation, you know, uh, we were taking care of, of a lot of people and preparing. This was during the time of the lockdown. So, you know, people were sending money because they wanted to come over. They wanted to invest in vacation property because we, uh, we had a career path uh, nice. process. All of this stuff in place, too. Anybody want to see any of this stuff? I have it. You know, uh, investrelocateafrica.com. You can just go through and take a look. You know, so it's back uh, uh, since then, about 18 months. I've really been working on the back end, I'm not really the front end. But you'll see detailed uh, uh, processes in terms of the community that we have uh, established. It was over uh, 500 people that came to Art Kathy Hill that signed up to be community members that we took data on, family size, income, time frames. 
you know, uh, we had uh, over 250 people who wanted to uh, pledge investments. Well, and uh, 40, uh, 50, over 50 of them actually sent investments in. We had uh, 30, uh, 30 people who uh, pledged money towards a land development deal, $2.1 uh, million. So we were, we were dealing with some big numbers. Juliet knew when I was with her, I was telling her, hey, this is what we need to do. Uh, you know, I built her website database. That was the plan. You know, I've been planned for that, you know, uh, I, I, seven years before I even got over there, which was probably about five years by that time, I already created the website Invest Relocate Africa, which has, which has over 500 pages and probably about 30 different databases, you know, dealing with everything from financial tracking, you know, um, employee tracking, you know, um, organizational checklists that could be done, you know, income, uh, you know, uh, inputs where if they're out because it's a fiat market so they're always dealing in money so you know if you have a lot of transaction as a business owner for bookkeeping and accounting purpose you want to get the receipts so they can pretty much go out make a transaction say okay i had uh, i brought something for two uh three or four or five dollars twenty dollars and then take a picture of it boom and then it's right in your dat your, your website you know that's like apps like that. Those are things that could be created and that's need for that market. But the bigger thing is that we were funneling millions of dollars in uh, in transactions. That uh, everybody was competition. You know, uh, you know. So the support of those ladies, as you see, immediately after that, they was in that YouTube community and they was being hailed as heroes. That's. Wow. <clears throat> They was being held as heroes, and we gonna exchange that for uh, Art Kathy, and you know, and Juliet being behind it. She wanna act like she didn't have any do, you know. I mean, it was very apparent. Everybody in the situation know that you know they supported her. I mean, I got the proof. You know, I, I personal testimony. A week after the girls were there, the, the accusers we w ran into them with one of my workers ran into Juliet. She said nothing to me. I never did anything to her. You know, she's giving that negative energy off. You know, um, n nobody really deals with Juliet there. You know, a lot of the people that, you know, every anybody can see. You know, and, and it's sad that we're sitting here today and having this video. It, does, it don't make me proud at all. Well, it's uh, unbelievable. And now you got to connect her to him. Her son. I thought he's a father. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Explain it and then break it down. That's what I'm talking about. Absolutely. Okay, Negro PM. Okay. So, Juliet gave birth to the Negro PM because they had a relationship. He's from UK. And, you know, uh, he was willing to go and, you know, uh, defame the movement. There was many people, you know, like I said, you know, it take a lot of courage to go and, you know, before the world and before all of these people with fought, with accusations, unproven ideas and hurt so many people. He was willing to do that, and she empowered him to do that. Yeah, man, and he seemed like he was desperate. Like, he just, you know, that was like his only source to this, to, to eat. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're working with something deeper because he has the title Negro Pimp, and it's clear that he, you and know, he's he proud of it, yo, right? your, your values, you know, and European values. And, you know, like I said, with this movement, this, this YouTube. It, it's not a movement. It's you know it don't represent the movement. The, you know, not where we're supposed to be. Only a few people, man, with good hearts that uh, really represent the movement, and then we have to be able to see that and distinguish that, like a brother like yourself. Then they ha gonna have to be able to do the work. Like you sitting here, and I see how you move. You taking care of your son. You know, you 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 doing videos, and you know, I don't the the type of work that goes into uh, what we're doing at this level. And then as black men, they said a black man have to be three times better than our counterparts <laughs> to be on that the same playing field. So you know, we would think that would be something that would be honored amongst our people, but we know our people, you know, see uh, uh you know, a positive in a negative way. You know. They see positive, so it, you know it, it. You know, and it's you know largely because the community is not ran by men. You know, so you have a you have a lot of emotion in our community. A lot of it's being ran by a lot of emotion, and uh, that's what's destroyed our community here. So, we want to be able to uh, change that dynamic, and you know the movement for all of this to be happening in Africa, man, is uh, is very saddening. And I've been to other countries, and it's uh, it's just real. You know, uh, as a people. 
Uh, however, you know, we have to be careful. I, I, and I'm more concerned because I knew something like this was going to happen and it all happened. And if nothing's done about it, you know, there'll be more incidents and the more things are going to happen. So Negro P and, you know, started off make, making his videos and things like that. Uh, me and R. Kathy up there, he, he put those ladies up there. And, you know, uh, even as of recently, he, you know, still making videos because, you know, uh, and He's just a hater. But hold on for us, hold on for right there. Now, who gave him the direct intel to make these documentation about you and R. Kathy? Well, people people give them information all the time. But Juliet was, you know, he, he said that she was the one that was in the information. So that's why he said, you know, she kind of gave birth to this, <laughs> yeah, she, this fool. She set him up, yeah. James. James, they, you know, they know each other. So, like I said, that, you know, the, the, to think of that, anybody that is, uh, I mean... Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's 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 unbelievable. It's absolutely unbelievable to be in that role that you uh, she's in, you know, uh, conducting herself in this in this manner. You know, so eventually, when all of that drama started, I, my mom passed away. That happened October, right of twenty, when everything blew up like the year later, and then I, my mom passed. You know, um, in February. 21 then I went to uh, the States You know, which is last year I came to the States 21 And when I got back After about three months I went to Ghana with my family and when I returned they, A YouTuber you was talking about him. They told me Quincy you ain't hear what's going on with Juliet Juliet started to get exposed. He said you need to go up there and make a video a lot of people from the States that she did land deals with were tearing into her behind and I told Adrian, hey, we can't let this happen. You have to, if you look at that, that you know, you don't run a business like that. Nothing at this level. You have to have everything done with a professional team. You understand what I'm saying? And, and they had that with me, but they didn't want that. They tried to make it seem like I went off and try to do something. Be, you know, no, I was, you know, that, that wasn't the case at all. I thought we was all going to be together working. But I don't work, I, I don't work for her. You know, I'm a business developer, so that's where Art Kathy came in or anybody else that, you know, I that's what I do. I build build them behind the scene. Mm -hmm. But in uh however in any case, when I came back all of that stuff came out and then, you know, I made some videos even with the Negro Pen. He was like, Hey, you know, these people are coming out and they're pissed off at Juliet because of her business dealings. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Hey, listen, you know, yeah, we know that, you know, so I mean, the, the, the deeper thing is that all of this stuff happened and people were hurt financially. And I was brought to the authorities with the blacks that support the, those ladies. That whole YouTube community supported those ladies, right? And when all of that happened, they were the saviors of the whole movement. They exposed Art Kathy. They exposed Quasi Boyd, who had the largest economic community in the Gambia. You know what I mean? Who would be who would be the person that would benefit from that the most? Only one person. If we were out the out the uh, <laughs> way, the the girls knew that we had databases that you know, and none of this was Juliet Ryan. I'll show you. I got the databases I create for Juliet. I got the databases for Art. Uh -huh. Everybody that came through Art Kathy, they knew they came through Art Kathy. It was all Brandon. To get to her links, they would have it. I don't cold call. You know, I can step off from a situation if I'm the one that's developing and I'm the business developer. You know what I mean? I can go somewhere and, and work with someone business and, and build it up. And that's based on that person business. We're, we're, you know, so it's, you know, the, the, one of the ladies in the uh, message that I saw, they left up in the uh, messenger telling them, oh, Quasi got your database and he got some of your investors. There was a few investors that came from um, Blackset oh. because I, that was prior. You know, so they invested in the uh, project that I had, you know, because people stayed at my house, like the investors. Well, also family, you yeah. know, before we even get into more yeah. information, <laughs> stay tuned. We're going to continue this. Go hard, Gambia. And, <laughs> and we want you to hold tight yeah. as we break down the final part of this okay, breakdown oh, okay. with uh, Brother Quasi Boyd. Damn. Literally, mm -hmm. literally breaking the silence. Mm -hmm. The saga continues, family.